persons are men and women who have totally submitted themselves to the work of Christ, leaving things of the world out of their way, neither getting married nor bearing fruits. Consecrated persons devote their totality to being holy and living a holy life as instructed by Christ. The year of consecrated life was announced by His Holiness Pope Francis in the year 2014 and this will run through to the year 2016 with the theme, Wake Up the World. Various programs, seminars, workshops, conferences and liturgical celebrations are taking place locally, nationally and internationally. The Conference of Men and Women Religious in Nigeria decided in January 2015 that the national celebration for Nigeria should take place in Ibadan, the state capital, between the 31st of July to the 2nd of August 2015 at the SS Peter and Paul Seminary, Bodija, Ibadan. Ibadan was chosen as a result of the large number of religious communities, which is about 38, both male and female, in the archdiocese. The gathering was very colorful from the arrival of the various groups who trooped in individually and collectively. The gathering had consecrated persons from virtually all over the states of the Federation. On arrival, they all got down to business of their being in Ibadan as they embarked on their registration before being showed to their respective rooms. Without further delay, Vespers took center stage at the SS Peter and Paul's Seminary, Bodicha, where the consecrated persons gathered. Right after that, supper was served at the refectory, which was a moment to relax after a long journey. On getting back to the auditorium, there was a mere moment of entertainment as consecrated persons glowed to the great playlet and song inspiration as the saying goes that all work and no play makes consecrated persons dull, hence the need for the entertainment. For how long shall we allow things to affect our unity? For how long shall our nation live in misery? For how long shall we keep living as though we be enemies? I ask you for how long. For how long shall God keep flowing on our streets for the sake of this road? For how long shall lives be waste as though they were beats? I ask you for how long. No what you need, Maria Getting to the business of the evening, the president of the Conference of Major Superiors of Nigeria, Very Reverend Father Henry Omonisai CMF, gave the opening address while admonishing all of their renewal and dedication to work is highly valuable in the service of God and that all consecrated persons should see this lifestyle as a rewarding one. He urged them to be upright in their doings and while living a life as consecrated persons, they should go all out in this year of consecrated life as new and better beings. We want to use this opportunity to welcome all of you. To welcome you in a very special way because also we see this as pilgrimage. Pilgrimage that goes with our life on the one hand and on the other hand more importantly, a kind of renewal for each and every one of us. The President of Conference of Major Superiors of Nigeria, Female Executive, Reverend Sister Florence Nwanuma urged them to be upright in their doings and while living a life as consecrated persons, they should go all out in this year of consecrated life as new and better being. The Holy Father for Francis calls us to wake up the world as to celebrate this year as a year of consecrated life. He enjoins us to be glad, rejoice, and radiate joy. In doing this, he calls us to recall the past with gratitude as we live the present with passion and 
to look to the future with hope. This was the last note of the day as it led to their first sleep in the city of Ibadan. After the events of the first day, then came the morning after, whereby as early as 7 a.m., faithfuls had gathered for the morning prayers. After this had been done, breakfast was served. That didn't take long as there was no time to waste as they all moved to the Church of Accession, Bodija, for the Holy Mass. There and then, several happenings took place at the chapel as notable preachers took to the podium to admonish faithfuls on being a consecrated person. The first Bible reading was taken from 1st King chapter 19 from verse 4 to 9a and chapter 11 verse 15a. And the angel of the Lord came again a second time and touched him and said, Arise and eat, as the journey will be too great for you. And he arose and ate and drank, and went in the strength of that food, forty days and forty nights, to Horeb, the mount of God. His Grace, Most Reverend Gabriel Abegurin, who is the Catholic Bishop of Ibadan Archdiocese, and the host bishop conducted the Holy Communion. Words of encouragement from His Grace, Most Reverend Felix Alaba Job, the Archbishop Emeritus of Ibadan Archdiocese. Whom do you stand for? Who is your spouse? Is the Lord Jesus? And from whom? Where do you get it? In the tabernacle. He comes from the altar. Above all, I beg you in the name of Jesus Christ, be charitable to one another, love one another. Also speaking is the Chairman Committee for Institute of Consecrated Life and Society of Apostolic Life, His Grace Most Reverend Donatus Osa, who urged the faithfuls to be of good morals and live a worthy lifestyle. The human person has placed creation under siege in his bid to run the world. This he has done by his attempt to destroy creation through science and technological advancements, enslavement of poorer nations through unfair political maneuverings and laws, the exploitation of the earth and poorer nations by further forms of impoverishment. Prayers for the year of consecrated life was said. They returned to the seminary and thereby lunch was served. Right after lunch, there was the welcome address by His Grace Archbishop Most Reverend Gabriel Abegure. When you look at this closely, it is interesting to see that even in the church, we have to wake up. The sleeping one cannot wake up the sleeping one. For us to wake up the world, we as this, we must wake up. Because the sincere to ourselves, we are also sleeping in the church. That's the truth. And this is a challenge for us. When the Pope says, wake up the world. We have been called and chosen. The Lord has a purpose for this. That purpose is not far-fetched. It is for us to go into the world and win souls for Christ. To round off a glorious day of activities, a variety night was organized as there was dance, songs, drama, which was to bring the coming together of consecrated persons to have a feel of entertainment, having at the back of their minds who they are and what they live for. Whatever has a beginning must surely have an end. The third and final day of the gathering of men and women of the consecration in the city of Ibadan began with a holy mass at the chapel of SS Peter and Paul seminary which has been hosting the faithfuls for the past couple of days had a brief mass <laughs> was time to chit chat and exchange pleasantries as well as the final picture taken for the purpose of remembrance of having a glorious time. Here we go as participants began to depart to their various destinations. A great gathering put together by the organizing committee ably led by Reverend Father Michael Odubela and a competent team. 
CEO Africa, the official media partner of the event, brings you all the happenings you did not see.